Hello, uh, today I'm going to do a director's cut for the, the Django Unchained opening scene. So straight away we have an establishing shot of what it seems to be like the desert. And we can already hear sort of country music start to play in the background. So just then we see it pan down towards uh, what we think is a group of slave traveling a line. And what we've got right here in the middle of the screen is makeup mise en scène, which is scars. Uh, we can see that very clearly right in there in the, in the front close. Just then we see it switch to the front of them, getting a close up of all their faces to show their well their facial expression is very upset. And um what they do here is they again this one in the middle is the main character, this one here. So purposely make sure your focus is on him so later on you can gain a connection with him. So we have an extreme close-up on the side, um, and we can see the same character that was in the middle of the other screen. So what it's just done there is it's focus pulled from the background to the front to get a close-up of the face again, which we see is sweaty and uh, it's, it's negative. We get negative connotations from this uh, up, uh, extreme close-up. Then um, focus pulls to the the a wider feel of the feel of depth to um again show the background and show that they're in uh what seems to be um an unfamiliar place like a desert or somewhere somewhere harsh. Right there we have uh what an action a very quick match on action zoom outwards so we get a wider shot of the area in, that, in the harsh environment they're in. We also are able to see the more than a line. What specifically we can see here is the levels used when creating uh, the scene. We see the man on the horse in the background is significantly higher than the people on the floor. And later on you find out in the movie that these are the slaves and this is the person owning them. But this is a way for them to show the audience how he has power over these people, just through, just with the levels that they use. But again, we get uh, the rule of thirds. We see the main character right dead in the middle. So there's a very, very extreme long shot. And just in that corner, we can see them there. But then this is all just to see the environment that we're in and see how harsh and unfriendly it is. Again, match on action, zoom inwards. Again, we see the level of the two men on horses significantly taller than the other men. Again, to show power over the thing. And uh, as an opening sequence, what this does is it gets uh, the audience to understand the genre of the movie and uh, to show a recurring theme in the movie will be race and power.
again to see the people above them higher but again also what we do what they're doing here this the the extreme long shot makes everyone seem small and to make this whole environment seem very open and make the the actors here seem very vulnerable as they seem very small Then we have a uh, we have a, another mid shot. We see we see them again. We see the people on horses wearing a uniform that looks to have and has connotations of wealth. However, with the other people, the slaves, we see them wearing just blankets. Again, another close-up of the main character. Again, this creates connection with him before you realize that he was the main character. But it also it shows the facial expression of someone that's a slave, been walking through this, and it has very negative connotations. And you feel towards him, you feel empathetic towards his character because of his close-ups that you get to see his face. What they've also done here is the two horses act as entrapment for the slaves in the middle, showing that they have nowhere to go, they are they don't have any freedom. Yeah, so that was done on purpose to show the lack of freedom that they have. Then we get, uh, finally to end off, we get a close-up of their feet and uh, we see chains around them again uh, to show that they are slaves and they don't have any freedom. But as we've realised the whole time, all this is doing is setting it up for someone to subvert the stereotypes of what happens in the following bit of the movie. So this is a really good way, this opening scene is a really good um way for the audience to understand what they're going to be watching and prepare for it so yeah that was the, the django unchained opening scene analyzation